Shalom, shalom. Bwana asifiwe. Hebu wacha niambie na kusema ninamshukuru Mungu na ninawauliza wenzetu my daughters, my sons, our partners in the ministry so far uh, kutoka hapa taifa la Kenya. Mm, hapa hata pengine market makueni count Kenya mzima maana tuko na marafiki kutoka kila sehemu na tuko pia na watu wengine hapa watu kutoka US wengine kutoka Germany pia tuko na watu wengine kutoka Vietnam hii bado ni ni mlima wa Bwana kulingana na science kanisa ndio hii kanisa ndio hii eh ndio kutoka chini msingi wetu ulikuwa mkubwa sana hapa luti ilikuwa inakaa hivi kama mlima tu tukimani somehow kwa hivyo ukiangalia ukuta umekuwa mrefu sana bado ni nyumba chini tu sio roho hapa tumekanyanga juu na ofisi itakuwa roho itapasuka so nataka muone hii itakuwa ni balcon ambaye watu wanaanza kutoka hapa kuja wakae hapo kiendelea ku kukuonga baluka mkia hapo mzuri endelea ku meditate mali pasuri sababu unaanza kunywa pia mambo mengi kwa hivyo hii ndio mafiti yetu kwa wakati huu mnaona kesho actually kesho itafika ita level ile nyingine ya pili ili balcon ya pili ikorogewe kwa hivyo tunamshukuru Mungu. So mnaona kila kitu kimefanywa kwa ustadi kabisa. Chuma hata ile tumewekwa, tumeweka ni D16. Chuma nzuri, hata watu wa physical plan wa count walipokuja hapa walisema congratulations. Kwa hii kanisa maana hakuna kitu tumefanya shortcut. Eh? Kila kitu tumeifanya kulingana na wema wapendwa kama tunafanya kitu sababu ya Mungu hebu tufanyeni mambo ambayo hata Mungu mwenyewe anafurahishwa na sisi inaweza kuwa si gharama kubwa lakini yaani kuna ule kumakinika eh hata kama ni mwanzo mdogo usiwe na haraka ukifanya mambo ya Mungu Yesu alisema atajenga kanisa na milango ya kusimwa itaiwe sasa nataka muangalie ukiangalia hiyo chape tumeweka paa yote tumeweka paa yote naomba niende chini naomba niende chini ili muangalie sasa kutaka mkatu polepole tutakana na mambo mke wangu bado ndio yako pale jeni atende mkatu polepole eh Stay assistant, stay kete standa kuwekwa. Bas. Sasa mnaona nataka muangalie. Kutoka hapa mnaona tumeweka paa yetu imeisha kabisa kabisa kabisa. Mnaona sio hiyo? Wamlikie tu kwa paa waone paa imeisha kabisa. Eh, njoo sasa imliki. Pan ndio hii imeisha kabisa. Eh, unaona kila kitu imeisha kabisa. Tunachosubiri sasa kulingana na Exodus chapter 
our partners and our friends. Oh, my believers online, katika YouTube na katika Facebook, na wale wote munao nifuatilia. Everybody watching over me. This chapel now is ready for roofing. I went to MRM company that manufactures iron sheets. And according to the measurement of the house, it is that because our measurement, the measurement of the hall, it is 80 by 40. It is just a small beginning. We were, I know, soon and very soon, we are going to start um, building a stadium because this vision is a great vision. So this is a room, Genesis 26, 22, Rehoboth Chapel, the third well, that Isaac and the that in his days. The first well they quarreled over it, the second one the same, but the third one, he said now, this is Rehoboth, because the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. As I have been saying, there is a time, 2020, people gathered in this market because they never wanted to hear the truth. This is an area whereby it is only now people have started to accept that truly God has sent me. They could say that my teachings, they are hard teachings. I am ah on issues, especially matters relating or pertaining righteousness and holiness and the true religion. So there's a time they sat down, the whole market, all the administration, the five, there was a senior chief, all the chief area, now the assistants, five of them, they came together. And the Kadulumi division, they all came together. They called their daughters and sons who are living at Nairobi, Mombasa, everywhere. It is on record. And they wanted me to come out of this area. And they made a declaration that even water to drink, I should not be sold. I should not buy in any shop, they, that is what they meant. And they said, anybody who will be caught selling water for me to drink will be excommunicated from this division. That time, we had no a bridge there. It was raining. Now, I was with my wife here, and this area used to be like an island without a bridge that Nini Koras blessed with it just the other day through the Kibuta government during his tenure. Kalawa was like an island, but they came together and they made a declaration. And one of the things they said, this area concerning us, <coughs> so many, it is that, at a match ya kunywa, to shusio komanduka. At a chakula, at a nyumba ya kukondisha to shipewe. Ilikuwa ni kipindi kingumu. Mungu alitusaidia kuna nyumba nyingine tulikuwa tunalala pale na mama na watoto kisha baadaye Mungu akatupatia hii nafasi tukaanzia mahali na kumbuka pesa ya kwanza ile ya ile mnaonanga imeseka hii hii ndio mabati niletumia kwa kanisa la kwanza ni vizuri muone haya maono ni makubwa hii gari sheet mnaona eh wamlikea hata hapa hapa waione vizuri hii mabati Iyo mabati nilikuwa nilikuwa na elfa msini nilikuwa nimeweka sababu mtoto wangu kwenda shule. Lakini tulipo ambiwa tujiuziwe kitu, tumetolewa kwa manyumba ile tulikuwa nayo na kukasemekana kusipatiwe mtu yote asitupatie nyumba. Niliketi na mke wangu akaniambia ni heri tuende tutafute mahali ndani hata kama ni huko msituni ndani na tujenge na tuweke mabati mazuri watoto wale tulikuwa nao kumaanisha wale shirika tulikuwa nao wasinyeshewe 
Tulifanya hivyo na pia Mungu akafungua mlango mwingine mtoto wangu akapelekwa akaanza shule. Lakini tukatoka pale na tukaendelea. Hapo tulipotiwa hii shamba huyu mama akakuja akatolewa katika nyumba kumi na wazee wa kijiji na wazee wa mtaa. Na akaambiwa ile shule shambao na wengine wengi wakatolewa kwa uongozi. Na wakaambiwa atakuja hata kuchomewa kwa manyumba yao sababu they were accommodating an anointing that seemed to be like strange to this area maana huko ni huko ni tunakuita kalawa sehemu ambayo watu walikuwa mpadwa kwa kuangiza sana lakini namshukuru Mungu maana akiniita aliniambia ananituma kwa mali kuko na ngiza mingi lakini ananituma nikalete nuru kwa hiyo ndio mimi nilikuja huku kaanzia pale kanisa la kwanza ilikuwa hapa hivi ilikuwa 30 by 20 kaweka yale mambati jua ikuweza kukamilika na tukakaa hivyo tukaendelea kumwamini bwana mimi nikaendelea mbele tulikuwa tunafanya makesha hapo asingine tunanyeshewa hapo saa zingine wakati wa ibada wakati wa mfua tunahamisha vitu kila mtu anasimama kivi yake na maisha ikaendelea na tukua na shida na hiyo tumesonga mbele tumesonga mbele sasa tumekuja hapa ndio tulipo mwezi wa ine endeni muangalie safari pale ilianzia kuna mti ulikuwa hapa hapa kulikuwa na mti ambao tulianzia safari chini yake na tukatoka hapo maana Mungu aliniambia wakati umefika ambao alikuwa ananiambia nilipotoka pale kuna watu wa mku nielewa kwanza lakini uh, sande maana umeanza kuelewa ni ukweli Mungu alikuwa amenituma nilikuja siku manisha safari kwa njia nikamaliza mambo ni mengi yale mpaka saa hii yanaendelea kufanyika na yalifanyika. Tumesimama katika zamu yetu. Mimi kama mimi ninawaahidi kitu kimoja ya kisasa changu. I will serve in humility in the fear of God. Na nitamalisha mwendo wangu. I will serve. I will be like David. Bible says that indeed the will of God is serve his people na kalala kwa amani. Kuna maneno nimeshidi kusema, nimemwambia mke wangu, nimeambia watoto wangu, nimeambia kanisa na hata marafiki wangu. Mimi kama Yesu atakaa, wahubiri wacheni waambie. Ni vizuri tuwe mfano mwema. Tukikumbuka pale Hebrews 11. Wale mashujaa wa imani wako pale, kina Musa, kina Noah, kina Abraham, kina Gideon, kina David na wengine wengi, kina Daniel, Shadrach, Abednego na Meshach na wengine wengi na wamama wanatajwa pale walisimamia Mungu kwa wakati wao wakalinda samu yao imani wakaitunza na wakakamilisha safari yao vizuri kina Paulo anasema mwendo nimeumaliza wahubiri ni kwa nini atumalishi ule mwendo uko mbele yetu wakati mwingine most of the time unaona mtu ndio ameitwa na Mungu ameanza kuinuka akiendaenda amejichanganya eh aidha hey, anaingia kwa tumbo lisilo shiba ni pale anaingia na kuta tamaa ya pesa <coughs> mismanagement the resources anakosa kuwa good steward anamalisha vibaya why ni kwa nini usitulie na usimama katika zamu yako eh mimi na waahidi kitu kimoja usua wa chini mimi nimefanya uamuzi wa sawa miaka hiyo 40 Mungu alikuwa ananitengeneza nishaachua mimi nikipawa mimi ama give to this generation because Mungu alikuwa ananiuliza kila wakati are you ready when I always when I met Jesus was asking me this question are you ready to go for my people and I could answer yes Lord he told me many things I have a lot of content. Niko na content kubwa sana kwa ajili ya hiki sasa. Kwa ajili ya taifa letu vile Mungu anataka kuipanga na ndio nakuta anasema kila wakati Kenya haitaangamia. Ndio maana unakuta yale mahubiri nafuatia pale. Utaenda kusikia kuna baadhi ya manabii na mitume na wahubiri nimewakemea. Na ninawaambia waache ile tabia uko nayo. Baadhi ya maneno ameongea nimeikanso because I'm in charge of security at this very particular time for the president for the 50 million ignorant innocent Kenyans until they know the truth 
Nashukuru Mungu maana safari niliyoanza mpaka saa hii hakuna kitu ambacho Mungu amenena hajatimiza. Usi wakati wa kitenda wili. Ezekiel 12:22. 22. Wana wa Israeli wako na kitu Mungu akasikia anaamuli sasa Ezekiel ni, ni kitenda wili gani? Nimethali ya ina gani inasikia? Kwamba kila maono inayoonekana aitimii. Na siku zinaambiwa siko mbali. Lakini Mungu akamwambia nitakomesha haya maono. Na ndio anasema na umu moja tisa pale tunasoma siku ya leo yote. Mateso aitainuka wakati wa pili. Kenya inaingia katika revival. Mungu anapanga taifa. The chosen vessel of Dr. William Ruto in the mountain of governance anafanya kazi yake na kazi inaendelea vizuri. Wale mnaanza kundaindai mambo ya siku mia moja ulisema itambidi mukae pembeni na msubiri. Kanisa hata ile ya Jerusalemu maandiko yanasema ilijengwa miaka saba wakati wa Sulaimani. <coughs> wakati wa Yesu the renovation na vile inaendelea. Wakasema hii kanisa wanasema ilijengwa miaka na sita Mambo na ujenzi wa hii nchi ambayo wengine mlikuwa mmeyaribu kabisa. Ni mnyamasa na mfunge midomo yenu. Maana Mungu anatupeleka mahali kingine. Wale mnadhani kuna kelele kelele mtainua mkifika mahali ya kuwarudisha mimi siongeangi maneno tupu aya mama when i say something it must be fulfilled it must it must to so have tested to so have tested they know what i'm saying so mnaona kiangalia kiangalia nyumba Hmm. Everything is almost be ready. Now na hul pale juu kumejengwa kumemalizika. Pan hiyo ile imemalizika. Ni kuwezea kwa peke yake. Kuwekelewa mabati. Ninataka kusema hivi. Wale mnaoniangalia hii nyumba itachukua mita Mia tano na sabini ya mabati nilichukua quotation KMRM ile mabati mbaya tu ni mabati itawekelewa hii nyumba mita moja inatoka elfu moja, mia moja na sitini na sita msimali ikiwa kando ama zile screw zina sinawekwa lakini msimali iliambiwa pia inafanya kazi nzuri maana itawekelewa na raba na hiyo ukiweka mahesabu yake itakuja 691000 tari za tuno of 700000 ukiongeza leba na hiyo hiyo msimali utakuta ni we need 800000 ili tuwezeke hii nyumba watu wa Mungu hiyo ni pesa like and drop in the sea Mungu ako na kila kitu na mbinguni hakuna pesa sinakaa huko pesa siko na sisi wanadamu wale watu na nataka kuongea na nyinyi wapendwa marafiki watu wa Mungu wapendwa Samueli wa kwanza kumi ishirini na sita. Sauli alipotiliwa mafuta mara ya kwanza maandiko yanasema hivi kulitoka alipokuwa anarudi nyumbani alipotangazwa huyu ndiye mtu amechaguliwa wakati kama huu maana wakati wa Sauli hako amefanya chochote kimbaya cha kumkasirisha Mungu Biblia inasema there is some part he went so so went on to Gibea with a band of people naomba niwasomee huo mstari Naomba nisome huo mstari usikie vile maandiko yanasema I want you to hear very clear the people I'm talking with today these are the people I'm talking to This is what the Bible says First Samuel 10:26 
And Saul also went on to Gibeah. And the valiant men went with him, whose heart God had touched them. Wale wapendwa, mungu wamewanguza sababu ya haya maono. Yale mambo mumefanya kufika hapa. Before call, you will be paid because also on my side, I have done everything well according to what God has put into my hand. At times, mambo ya musingi, ata mambo ya nyumbani kwangu. Unakuta tukisema na mama, hii ya pana. Mtoto anapiga simu, tunasema hii ya pana. Kata hii mbanchet, kata hii. Kumbuka siku moja nikiambia msichana wangu, maana tulikuwa tumeweka mpango fulani na yeye. Nikamwambia my daughter, I know that you do enjoy meat. Kwa hivyo baadala ya mara tatu kwa siku, kwa wiki, I mean, utakuwa na kula mara moja ili tuweseke kanisa. And my daughter can yambia, daddy, not even one uh, per week. Nataka after two weeks, ndiyo la uh, utakuwa na nekumbuka kidoko. Lakine, ma, m, naomba mimi nione yon nyumba imezepa. Kwa hivyo wale wapendwa mungu wa mewangusa mio, ya, ya, ma, ma, maisha yenu. Ni sababu ya haya maono. Na muna amini ni meitwa na mungu. Nina, nina sema hivi. Exodus 25, wakati Musa alitisa sandaka. Sasa na waitisha sandaka na ya haraka. Mana na yo haya mabati. Sio ile onanda kununua moja moja. Inataka yende ilipwe mara moja. Ndiyo tupewe, tuliambiwa, tutapewa 14 days. Ikatakatwe. Mana ita katakatwe kama ingini. Mana tuliambiwa nyumba ni muremu kiweka tule tudogo mita tatu tatu. Itakuwa ni kitu ambacho kitakaa sio vizuri. Hatunataka nyumba mungu kaa vizuri. Kwa hivyo ni nasema hivi. Kwa siku kumi sinaso kuja. Kwa siku kumi sinaso kuja. Ninaomba mkona namba yangu. Aya maposo Nicholas Mongela. My number is in 0700217222. Uo ujumbe hapo chini. Pale kuna semanga no mo. Una utakuta namba yangu pale description description ndio kuna namba yako hapo kuna kumeandikwa description kuna namba yangu na pia utapata paybill ya kanisani you can use either paybill ya kanisani ama utumie my number kama faithful steward and the more than ukitaka kuandika check nipigie simu na kutumia account ya kanisani hata ukiandika na uende straight away kwa MRM Nimechukua quotation, nitaituma pia. Kutajua vile itatuma. Ili muyangalie. Uwone kile nimesema. Kiko hivo. Unawasa pia kwenda kulipa na unipigia sim. Nambia poso. Nimeandika check. Enda. Nimelipa ayo mabati. Na ni ya bebe tuku 